these shots will be of the best food I ate each day over the last 15 days. While you're watching the little video, I thought I'd answer some questions for you as well. Some of these questions come from online and some of these questions come from members of Manabu Farms. First question. Do I feel like I have been starving or hungry in any way, shape, or form? And that's a no. I feel like I've been eating more food over these last 15 days than I did before I was living out of my garden. I'm, In fact, I think I'm getting a little weight. Uh, next question. Do I feel like I've been deprived or missing anything? And yes, yes, very much so. I feel like I've been deprived, A, of my wife. I haven't been getting enough time with her. But mainly on the food department, things like tomatoes. Man, my tomatoes aren't ripe and I've been missing tomato sauce. Uh, cheese, dairy products. I'm definitely going to look into some goats or other things to raise here in the farm. As you know, we're an outlaw farming group, so I don't give a sh I don't care what the city says I can raise in my backyard or not. Um, let's see. What else? Do I feel like I have a lack of any energy? And, you know, I started this project off with a cold. So I'd say at the beginning I did. But as I've actually been out here longer, I feel like I'm getting healthier. Not just from the cold going away, but also the sickness of the city. The sickness of all the toxins I was putting in my body with the fast foods and the microwavable foods, even though I don't actually own a microwave, I still the same type of going to the corner store and picking up a burrito and bringing it back or a donut or a candy bar. Without that in my system, I feel like I'm actually getting healthier and I've got more energy. Um, I do, though, feel like I've been sleeping in more. The later, the longer I've been out in this experiment, when I first started out here, I was up at six o'clock in the morning. And maybe it's just that I'm getting more used to my environment, but Today, I didn't want to get up until around 10, you know, so I do feel like I'm sleeping, sleeping more. So maybe that's a good thing. Another question that was asked was, now that I'm 15 days into this experiment, this quest, do I feel like in the future I'm going to, when I'm done with this, that I'm going to be happy to go back out to, to a normal life? Am I going to go back to eating regular food or not, basically? Am I going to go back to sleeping indoors or not? So it was basically two questions. And uh, as for going back to eating regular food, I believe that I'm going to take on more regular food, yes. Like, I know if I had the option right now and it wasn't a moral challenge to myself, I would be eating a block of cheese. So I know that I will go and get regular store-bought food again, but I definitely will have a conscious decision with every single thing I buy at the store of whether I can live without this. Can I get this out of my garden in a week instead of today? Or could I have preserved this and canning this from my garden in some way so that I have it now when it's out of season instead of depending on other people? Living off your garden does not have to mean living without. And that's what I'm trying to show you with these videos. I mean, if you look at the 15th day of what I cooked and some of the third day of what I cooked and things like that here in this video, you'll see I'm not living without. I'm living with. Everything that I want is here available to me by either myself or by trading with a local farmer. That's something I want to make sure that is clear. Yes, I've been eating stuff like rice and beans that I cooked or that I traded for, I did not pay for during my 30 days of preparation. But since my preparation days were over and I started living in my garden, I have only traded with things that were actually caught out of nature or traded for things that have been grown by a Manabu Farms member. Okay, so for 30 days, I have lived purely off of nature and what is gathered or what I prepped beforehand for 30 days. Another question that was asked of me was, is there anything I regret over the last 15 days? And I had to say yes. The major thing I regret about my doing this whole project was not preparing and having an actual video editor 
person assigned to edit these videos. I feel like I spend more time editing and uploading videos than I do in my garden, which is kind of annoying to me because this is supposed to be about improving my garden and improving my life over these 30 days. And so far, it's been about uploading videos. Um, well, that's about it, everybody. I want to personally thank uh, Half Acre Homestead for sending me a lot of these questions and a small town gardener. Thank you. You're always for doing what you do and for spreading my these videos out there. Also, on a side note, you may want to check out JD the Amazing. He's a musician from Australia who does some amazing video work and uh, doesn't have very many subscribers for some strange reason. So go and subscribe to him. And of course, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video because that's what I really care about is getting that message out there. And uh, remember people, grow as much food as you can. And go and introduce yourself to your neighbors because it's better to have friends than just neighbors.